So whenever a constraint is thrown at our you know, engineers, they always have come out with some sort of a breakthrough innovation. This is the John Welsh Tech Centre behind me, and it's one of four GE healthcare centres around the world that focuses purely on innovation. Built in 2000, the centre strives to improve innovation, not just in India and the region, but also around the world. I'm going to go inside to get a better look, but before I do, earlier on, I jumped on a remote call with Garish Raghavan, who's actually in quarantine, as I wanted to get a better sense of how this centre originally came about. Garish, the, the John Welsh Tech Centre, it's one of four innovation hubs in the world for GE Healthcare. Why India? So on one hand, we have uh, large companies. We have good academic institutions. We have great colleges to uh, work on, a software population. And then we have access to uh, all these startups. Okay, It's very difficult to find one place in this universe where you get all these, all these, all these things coming together. And that's precisely why ba Bangalore, India has been chosen as a place for us to, to make uh, technology and innovation as the hub for healthcare. Your specific field um, that you've been heavily involved in is computerized tomography or CT and PET CT. But why was it important to innovate CT and PET CT for India and the region specifically in terms of improving access to healthcare? So, Mike, when we went back and did a research on the field, we met, we met close to 100, 100 plus clinicians and customers across India. We went across India with our engineering team. And we came with three big, big things which are required for us to ensure that it meets our customer requirements. First one was power. So the customer want to ensure that the total cost of ownership is lower. So power was very, very important. So we had to design a CT system which could have lesser power requirement. Uh, and we were able to bring, it, bring the power requirement by around 47% lower compared to a traditional system. Second requirement was that the CT system should be installed in any floor of the building. So we were able to design a CT system where the weight was 50% lower than the predecessor system. So the customer can put CT wherever he wants. He doesn't have to make a new building once more. The last thing was the user interface, the workflow. How do we make it so simple or such that even a person with less experience can use it in a safe manner? To make it effective, we were able to reduce the number of clicks by 80% in the overall system. And Garish, there's a, a significant amount going on uh, in terms of digital innovation as well, right? Uh, Bangalore is definitely the epicenter of digital transformation. Okay, A lot of digital things happen from India, primarily because uh, Bangalore is the powerhouse of software development and software skills. Right, The center of everything in digital is data. Data is the core of everything, right? Data is the, is the oil, you know, the new oil in, in today's world. So Edison is a core platform on which uh, all of the applications are sitting today on digital. So we actually opened up uh, this whole ecosystem to get our startups onto the onto the platform and use it in a very efficient manner. So I think that has been one big thing we have been able to do. We are trying to make our systems intelligent, such a way that the system can tell the operator and the hospital ecosystem what to do and what not to do. This takes us to a different level of efficiency what we have. And this is exactly where technologies like artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, all these things would play an important role in providing the kind of intelligence what we need to have today. Now, on the subject of digital innovation, it's been accelerated massively by COVID-19. Suresh Kumar, who's inside, has been a key player here at this centre, developing remote solutions for healthcare under the pandemic. How have you been personally involved on your side with, with the expansion of digital innovation? Right. So this is the center for most of the remote patient monitoring effort that we do. Whenever there is a constraint, the team has come out with you know, like a great breakthrough innovation. For example, the need for making mural available uh, in a very short notice over cloud was an important need that came out. In less than three weeks time, you know, like team got together, working in partnership with Microsoft, we were able to deliver mural on cloud. So this is remote monitoring. Now, has this innovation been specific to India and the region, or has it been a global innovation that has, that has benefited the world? This, is, this has benefited the world, uh, Mikey. For example, uh, uh, nurses uh, can actually, sitting outside the ICU, can monitor the patients. And in fact, what you see here is around 16 patients can be simultaneously monitored. And if any patient is having any trouble, it'll highlight and there'll also be an alarm if you want. 
and you can actually quickly go and look at what is the detail, why, why it happened, and do the right intervention. So that's the global side of what you do, Suresh. Coming closer to home, the innovation has really helped with subjects like infant mortality rate, right? So we came out with an innovation called LED-based uh, phototherapy, which is very much needed in this country. Number one, it is very easy to maintain. Cost-wise, it is much affordable. And of course, life-wise, it is good. It can operate on a battery. There is a similar one that I want to talk about on our Mac 400, Mac 600 series of ECGs. Let's go to the you know, third floor lab and have a look at it. Suresh, just behind you, that, that's a typical echocardiogram, right? Yes. Pretty large. Definitely not mobile to the point where you can stick it in your pocket. Absolutely. Now, what have you got in your hand? So what we have is a very portable uh, ECG machine. Uh, that we developed, you know, like a decade back, uh, looking at uh, the conditions of this country, where we wanted the GP to carry it in his bag and be able to travel to the various rural areas and uh, be able to do the ECG. A couple of constraints that we had is you won't get power supply there, so this should last at least for 200 ECGs uh, per charge, and it also should charge much faster. And of course, uh, the printer that we use is a very special printer typically, but uh, you can't use the same printer here. So what we did is, we took up typically what the bus conductor has while you know printing the tickets, right? Which is you know more rugged, which can withstand high temperature, dust, and everything. We took up that printer, made little modifications to so that the quality of the print is very high, and that's how you know uh, we came out of this printer as well. Suresh, it's been fascinating talking with you and, and Garesh today, and uh, really appreciate you taking me through all of the cool stuff that you've been doing. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you.